In this video, we're going around the Ring Road at University of Victoria. And as we're scanning, we can identify that there is a construction up ahead sign here, denoted by this diamond shaped sign here. See, it's got an arrow and it says construction and arrow up ahead, that's what that means. And so we're on the lookout now, trying to see where that construction that they're referring to might be. You can see the pedestrians coming up here to use the crosswalk. And we can right away see it says reduce speed and that there might be a flag person on the road here. And we're looking further into our lane, we can see, oh, there is um, a lane closure. So we're signaling and shoulder checking to the left before making our way into this lane if it's safe. And let's see what it says. So single lane traffic, that means if there's a bike in front of you, uh, you they can have the whole lane, so you're not supposed to squeeze past anyone. And then it's saying that there might be uneven pavement or ground here, so be aware of the fact that you might skid. And again, uneven pavement here. And just paying attention to what this scenario is calling for. Now, the construction in this case wasn't, um, there was no active construction on the road here, and there was no uh, speed limit sign posted for the construction itself. So we have to now use our discretion about what speed makes sense going into this construction zone. If there were people actively working on the road, I wouldn't be going faster than 30 in the city. Uh, there's no point zooming past the construction worker or any other construction crew member. Um, and so use your discretion. There was no 30 sign posted, but you probably don't want to go to full speed limit either here. Uh, drive for the conditions, whatever the conditions call for, that's the appropriate speed to be driving at. 